Welcome back to the Washington County Convention Center. Joining me right now, Delta State men's basketball coach Jason Connor. The renovations to JT Hall Coliseum, part of a $1.7 million renovation project. Seven years, the only year missing 2008 when they lost in the championship game to guess who? That's right. Meridian. So a second straight dominating performance for Mississippi State in the Egg Bowl, meaning a trip to an even bigger Egg Bowl, quite possibly the Chick fil A Bowl New Year's Eve in Atlanta. Reporting from Oxford in the Egg Bowl, Mike Sands, ABC6 Sports. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Mike Sands. It's Thursday, December 16th, 2010. Tanya Carter has the night off. Back here at Eastside, this time with some company, Trojans head coach Tavares Johnson. Morgan admits that at times during some of Valley's games this year, he threw up his hands in frustration and asked what he had got himself into. But he assures me those were only temporary moments of frustration. Now, as for turning the Valley program around, he says his pitch is simple to junior college recruits. If you want to play and play right now, the best chance of playing immediately is right here at Mississippi Valley. We have one player each from each of the big three vying to bring home the award for the state's top collegiate baseball player. Giants, now many are speculating we've seen the end of Favre's career despite how silly guessing what Favre will do next is. A rainy day turns icy for Delta State head coach Ron Roberts. Not a Gatorade bath, rather an ice water shower after Garrett Williams' second interception of the fourth quarter put the Statesman's national semifinal game, pardon the pun, on ice. But maybe the botched Gatorade shower, a metaphor for what was a sloppy game in the rain. Uh, you know, today's win, it wasn't our best performance by any means. I don't think anybody will do that. There's a lot of things we could have done better. I don't want to take away from it, but there's a lot of things that we, we could have done, uh, you know, that, that made it a little crisper, a little cleaner. Um, and hopefully we're saving that best performance for the last one. Robert seeking a cleaner performance next week in the title game, but that didn't keep him or his players from celebrating on field the title game birth. And as you'd expect, the statesman very excited to be playing for it all next week. Everybody's just amped up right now. It's like, finally, we finally get there. This is my first time ever going for a national championship, and I think it's a lot of guys first time in who are just <clears throat> ready to go. It's, we talk right after, after we won this game. We still got one more to go. We want to really feel the, the excitement. The statement celebrating postgame, not knowing if it would be Minnesota Duluth or Northwest Missouri State they'll meet in the national title game. But Robert's confident they'll see the very best the statesman can be. Uh, they've been through a lot, and uh, I'm real proud of the way they've handled themselves. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity to be there right now. We're glad to be there. And uh, whoever it is, I know this, they're going to get our best. Through rainstorms, weather delays, thunder, lightning, and even an ice bath for Coach Roberts. He's going to Florence, Alabama for the D2 National Championship game. Reporting for Cleveland for the Delta number one news station, Mike Sands. Well, Delta State attempts to bring the Division II national title home Saturday, and bringing it home would mean exactly that for one senior statesman. Saturday's national semifinal win of extra significance for Delta State's Matt Melton, the senior defensive tackle, playing his last home game in Cleveland. That's what you ask for, I guess. You know, uh, when you start the season, or especially your senior year, you know, chance to go out big, you know, and at home. You know, last last game in front of you know family and friends and stuff. You know, it's, it, it was great. It was a great feeling. And Melton playing in front of more family and friends than most. Cleveland's his hometown, having played on Friday nights just a mile down the road at Cleveland High. And Statesman head coach Ron Roberts says the Cleveland community is quick to ask how their hometown kid is doing. There's a lot of people obviously in the community that you know they always want to know how Matt's doing and, and you know where he's at. And, those things. So it's, I think it is a special part to have a, you know, a local kid on your program and you're going to have an opportunity to play for a national championship. Roberts praises Melton's work ethic, but most noticeable at practice may be his sense of humor with the head coach, even a target of Melton's. I mean, it's every day. Uh, it, it's every day, you know, just the casual joking and stuff. And he likes to refer to my age a lot. But, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. And those guys, they make a lot of fun out here. But all kidding aside, Melton knows what's at stake Saturday and right now can't imagine what it would feel like to bring the D2 national title back home. I mean, I got chills right now thinking about it. It's just something, it's this amazing feeling just to have the chance. And, uh, I don't think it's set in all the way. And just to you know, come home and be the number one you know, national champion. I just, I don't, heck, I, I can't really explain the feeling I have now just a chance to play for the national championship. So. 
can't imagine what it would be like if we actually you know, bring it home.